Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create a cool chromatic skin effect easily in After Effects. Let's get started. To create this effect, the only element that should remain unaffected is the car. So first we'll need to isolate it from the background. Start by duplicating the clip and renaming the duplicate to car only. Then select the roto brush tool and double click on the car only layer to enter the rotoscoping workspace. Carefully rotoscope the car, keeping the edges as clean and smooth as possible. Once you're finished, click freeze to lock in the rotoscope. After the freezing process is complete, close the rotoscoping window. Now duplicate the original clip once more and rename the top layer to mask. Next click toggle switches slash modes, then change the blending mode of the mask layer to overlay. Now we can start building the actual effect. First select the ellipse mask tool and draw a circular mask on the mask layer. Make sure to center the mask over the car, similar to this. You'll notice the anchor point isn't aligned properly. To fix it, select the mask layer, then hold control and double click the anchor point tool. This will automatically center the anchor point on the layer. Now expand the mask one settings and set the mask expansion to around minus 50. Then click the stopwatch icon next to mask expansion to add a keyframe. Now scroll to the end of the layer and increase the mask expansion until the mask fully covers the entire frame. Let's quickly check the video. The animation is complete, now we just need to add the effects, and we'll be done. But first scroll near the end of the timeline, about this far and press T on your keyboard to reveal the opacity. Then click the stopwatch icon next to opacity to add a keyframe. Next scroll to the very end of the layer and set the opacity to 0%. Great, now we can start applying several effects to enhance the look. First press F on your keyboard and increase the mask feather to around 30. Next apply the turbulent displace effect. Set the displacement to 40 and the complexity to 4. Then add the VR chromatic aberration effect. Enable fall off invert and increase the fall off distance to your preference, I found 81 works well. Let's do a quick preview to see the result. And that's it. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.